Hello Cloud Gurus, I'm Nigel Poulton, the author of the Kubernetes Deep Dive course here at A Cloud Guru. And this is Kubernetes This Month, the show that keeps you bang up to date with all the good stuff going on in the world of Kubernetes. First up, here are my six top Kubernetes news items from the past month. I couldn't get it down to five, so we'll go with six. First up, now Red Hat and AWS announced the general availability of Rosa. That's Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS. It's basically managed OpenShift on AWS infrastructure. So you can use the OpenShift console and tooling to build and scale Kubernetes on AWS without having to touch any of the AWS stuff yourself. Rosa just takes care of that. So, if you love OpenShift or if you're looking for production grade Kubernetes with a support contract and you use AWS, Rosa might be just what you're looking for. Now into the service mesh space, Linkerd continues its constant march forward with the announcement of Linkerd 2.10. This release brings pluggable extensions which is a pretty significant architectural change. So for starters, the default control plane out of the box is way more lightweight and you can choose the extensions that you want. As well as this, it provides a way for third parties to write their own plugins that look, smell and feel just like native Linkerd features. Also in this release, secure multi-cluster support now applies to all TCP connections, not just HTTP into acquisitions and a security related one, as VMware agrees to acquire Mesh 7. Now, this is an important step for VMware as they strive to make security intrinsic to both applications and infrastructure. A few funding rounds worth mentioning, Docker secured 23 million in a Series B round, Aqua Security raised 135 million in a Series E that values them at one billion dollars. SNCC raises 300 million with a 4.3 billion valuation. And KubeCost raises 5.5 million to help you monitor your Kubernetes workloads and costs. Now, the two of those that jump out to me are the Aqua Security and the SNCC ones. And not just because of the associated valuations, I genuinely think both show huge interest around real security. Now switching to data management, NetApp announced general availability of Astra, their application data management platform for Kubernetes. So fully managed, application aware, we love our buzzwords, yeah? But managed app aware data management for Kubernetes workloads. Now sticking with data management, the folks at Kasten and Veeam announced the launch of Kubester, a new tool for evaluating and recommending storage for Kubernetes workloads. Now I'm pronouncing it Kubester, but it might be Kubestore or even something else. But you know what? We'll dip into this a bit more in the deep dive section. That's the news for this month. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but there is a bit of news I wanted to let you know about. A Cloud Guru have just launched a new ACG student program. Students with eligible active email addresses will now be able to join our community of Cloud Gurus at a discounted rate. This means you'll have access to Nigel's Kubernetes deep dive course and others for less. Why is this happening? Well, this is a long-term program to help make cloud learning more accessible for teachers, students, and educators, and to teach the world to cloud. For more info, there is a link in the show notes. Okay, so for deep dives this month, we're gonna look at the overall security state of play in the Kubernetes world, and then we'll look at Kubester from Kasten. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. As we just heard in the news roundup, there's so much stuff going on in the security space. I mean, we've got VMware acquiring Mesh 7, but also loads of investment coming into Aqua Security and SNCC, and plus a bunch of others over the past few months. Now, I think with Aqua being valued at a billion and SNCC at nearly five, I mean, look, well, valuations are just valuations, but to me, it absolutely represents how important deep and integrated security is now and especially going forward. So you really should not be looking to deploy Kubernetes workloads 
to production without serious day one considerations for security and security at as many layers as possible. So I feel like image scanning, it's probably integrated with your registry and it's table stakes these days, right? But platforms like the ones we've mentioned today should be on there as well. I mean, there's really no excuse for not putting security front and center these days. If you're starting to look at containers and Kubernetes, seriously, you need to be looking at security and security tools from day one. So Kubester, or is it Kubestore, or something else? Who knows, right? Do you know what? Nobody cares. What we do care about is what it actually does. So it's an open source tool from Kasten. Now, Kasten was acquired by Veeam recently. I think we covered that in a previous episode. And both Kasten and Veeam are 100% about data and data management. So Kasten were an innovative startup in the cloud native data protection and data management space. And Veeam, well, they're a market leader in pretty much the same. Only Veeam didn't have containers and Kubernetes offerings. Anyway, look, with that kind of background behind both companies, it is no surprise that Kubester, <laughs> I'm going with that, right? Is an open source tool for evaluating Kubernetes cluster storage and its performance and features. So look, it's a tool that can look at a cluster, discover its storage assets and options, and then work a bunch of analysis magic to determine optimal storage for given workloads. And it's things like, well, performance, of course, but also features like snapshots and stuff. It's obviously early days for Kubester as a project, but Tools like this are gonna be increasingly important as developers and operators look for intelligent ways to help with right sizing and right configuring infrastructure such as storage. That's it for this month's Kubernetes This Month. If you like the show, be sure to give us a massive thumbs up. If you've got a question, add it into the comments. Stay safe and I'll be here again next month, so don't forget to subscribe. Same cube time, same cube place.